Hi guys, I hope you have a lovely week, okay? What I'm gonna do here is I threw four uh, cards here, our overall energy and then three cards for the week. And then I'm gonna throw three additional per sign to see how this all plays out for you, okay? Overall message for everyone is discernment, okay? I feel this energy coming in. I know that we're gonna be, this Aries moon, I believe hits the eclipse point from July. I've got to be honest with you. I don't feel anything negative here. I really don't. I think some people have stronger lessons than others as far as, you know, I think there's going to be, you know, there's a potential I feel for with this and only because I can kind of see things too. I think some of you, you know, you're going to be dealing with the black magic stuff and, and that's on you. You'll have to deal with that. Um, the ramifications, I should say, of that. But those are stronger lessons for different people. We're not judging that kind of stuff, right? I think for some of you also, um, there's payoff here for things that you have almost maybe given up on, okay? Let's just be honest. The last two years have been nothing short of a hell trip, right? I mean, they, it, it's been brutal, literally brutal. Um, and normally I'm real rah-rah and I can find the positive and everything. And I can and we can, but after a while it's like, enough already, right? I get it. So um, that's what I want to say. Um, I think rewards for hard work pay off for some people. Again, watch your surroundings. And I don't think this is like a, um, I think it's, it's a, w w I, the energy I feel is, how do I explain this? It's kind of like a calm resolve, right? Like, I can feel the winds picking up. I know there's a breeze behind me, but I'll wait till the hurricane hits my backyard and then I'll do what I need to do. Because until then, I, there's really nothing that I can do, right? I can feel the wind, but is it my problem? Is it going to hit my yard? Should I get ruffled about it? I think what happens here is that after a while of having to put out so many fires on so many different things, a lot of things we've just learned, oh, that wasn't really mine or this wasn't really mine. But but meanwhile, it's just been like a repetitive beat the crap out of me two years, right? This I don't feel, this energy, and I have to say, guys, I haven't felt such a burst of positive energy, like just light, like a... Um, it, it's just a nice, it's a nice energy. It's a... I'll deal with what comes my way. I'll look at some things that I need to look at. I'm not going to be crazed about it. If I hit traffic, I hit traffic. I'll get there when I get there. It's kind of not lackadaisical. I'm not saying take your eye off the ball here. I'm just saying it's like, mm, it's just that calm. It's a calm energy. It's like I know what I know what I need to deal with. I know what isn't mine. I know what I need to do. And you know what? If it doesn't work right here. It'll show up when it shows up. But for most of you, I feel like there's something in here too about cut yourself some slack and realize that, you know, we are a product of situations sometimes, right? When we know better, we do better. But when we don't, we're, we're growing, we're learning. Um, you know, some of you may still be beating yourself up over things that, you know what, now that I know what I know, I would have done things different. In hindsight, of course we would do things different. But, you know, I think that someone just needs a, you know what, let it go. It's, it's done here. You didn't know better at the time, whatever it was to you, um, you know, and just, just let it go. I think if this involves another person, and I kind of think it does, the other person has seen this also. So you're the only one who may still be holding on to this. Okay. The it's, it's done. You've grown. It's gone. Give it, give it its due and, and be done with it. Okay. That's for some of you. Um, for, and two, I feel that these scenarios here that are coming up, the rites of passage. And I think that sometimes, um, example would be, and this isn't in a derogatory way, but did you ever let a, a, a child who's really, really hyper, right? Just really children, the energy they have. But you're like, eh, I'll let them run themselves out and then they'll clunk out a lot easier for a nap, right? It's like that energy. And I think that that's what the two years have been. Like the universe is saying, let them run. Let them run like wild turkeys and they'll eventually, you know, poop themselves out and, 
and be done and, and just calm down and, and deal with things. That's where I think it is. I like this energy. I have to say I like it a lot. I know what people are saying. I've heard the input from things and I've listened. I don't agree though. I don't agree because I don't feel it and I'm thrilled because I have not felt this good in like a year. So I'm, I'm happy. Okay, we'll, we'll take it. Uh, no oppression, no repression. It's like, you know what? I'm going to look at the things I need to look at. If I'm noticing that I'm surrounded by a bunch of crazy people, I'm going to look at what role I'm playing in this, right? And by that, I mean, they're mirroring back something. What is it? Let me just take a look at it. But it's not a judgment call on yourself. It's like, okay, I could kind of see where this goes, right? And it's just stuff like that. And it's much easier to accept things like that than when we're judging ourselves or we're judging someone else. You know, just see people for where they are, see where they are in their lesson scope, see how it equates to you. If things need to be tweaked, tweak them. If people need to be in, out, do the, you know, the musical chairs kind of deal there. Trust your hunches though too, okay? Trust your intuition. If someone is trying to smooze you over, schmooze you over, whatever that word is, at work, and you're not really buying it, like you're like, hmm, something stinky or like something is, uh, you know, I kind of see where they're going, but I think this could bite me in the ass here. Know that they may not know what really lies ahead, but you can kind of see how this plays out and it might not be for your best interest. So just trust things like that, right? Like don't team up with someone that you know maybe just doesn't have enough experience. They've got the gusto, but they've not hit that bump yet. And you maybe have, it's, it's things like that. Okay. Um, Again, I keep hearing too, if you can teach someone something, like that scenario I just mentioned, and if they're open to it, just say, you know what, I may, I've done this before, and just, if it's helpful to you, here's my scenario. This may, it's something like that, like kind of teach someone something like that, okay? Because again, we come in with the magician, overall energy. I think it's phenomenal, okay? Then we've got the star card. Hope, fulfillment, fame, fortune, your wish is coming true. Peace, calm. This is like, you know what? I'm going to go slow. I'm going to get my bearings. I'm going to rebuild my life. I'm going to nurture myself. I'm going to have a good positive energy flow, right? I'm going to trust myself. I'm going to trust my intuition. I'm going to trust my hunches. I'm not going to be led astray. I know what I'm truly made of, you know? And the hermit card. I think some of you have deserve, you really deserve a vacation. You really deserve to relax. You really deserve to maybe slow down the pace in your life. Again, maybe the things that were so important, you're realizing now, you know what? These things are more important to me now. It's revelations like that in a calm resolve where we could just really look at things and the things that we thought we were rushing for and rushing around to do and that were so important, we now really realize we have different views on things, different takes on things, different perspectives, needs, wants, desires, things like that. For some of you, you've got big payoffs at work. Like you feel like I've been, you know, not taken seriously. I don't get my due reward. You're about to. Okay. That's what I feel here. I think that rewards for hard work pay off. I think some of you are in challenging work situations where you're going to see here where the blessing in all of this is. If changes come your way, don't fight them, please. You've got, again, this is a rite of passage. It's kind of like an ending that is meant for you. So don't fight it. It may seem a little bit disheveled, but let it be. Let it play out, okay? Um, for some of you, I think you're in relationships. These would be one-on-one -on -one relationships where you may have had a bigger or a different expectation on something. Again, we can... Uh, really play something up in our head and then when we're in situations like marriage or relationships we're like oh this is not what I thought it was I feel a little bit you know constricted or you know watched with a mic you know a, a magnifying glass or someone is always watching what I'm doing or they're extremely uh, critical or this and that have that conversation right you may need to have a conversation about that okay so that's what I've got for the overall energy now let's see how it plays out for all the signs. Okay. Hi, Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. Okay. First, I want to say as I'm throwing these, I'm thinking, holy hell. But you are being told yes. 
So whatever it is that you're working through, keep going. Um, you've got confirmation here that whatever it is, and I don't feel it's pretty, you get a yes on it, okay? So you come in with the five of swords. I think that's more how you're feeling, okay? You've got the king of swords here. So you may be waiting on something. You may be waiting on results for something. Uh, you may be waiting on an answer for something. If you're hoping for the answer is yes, it is yes, okay? This is a card of victory, it's a card of success. It's a card of people. Um, uh, there's public recognition here. There's public acknowledgement here. But this is more about you've got people around you that are supporting you and, and uh, you know, like your cheerleading squad here, so to speak. So you've got support in whatever it is that you're doing here. I want clarity here. Keep in mind, our card is our, our main cards are the magician, the star. That's success. That's keeping faith and hope. So this may have been something long, okay, um, where you didn't think you were going to win the battle here, but you're going to, okay? Okay. And keep in mind, I feel this may, it may be a tumultuous week, but I assure you it goes out well. Okay, yeah. You've got the Six of Wands here. Again, clarifying this. You may have an enemy in your camp here, okay? Because this card is an enemy card, but it's the Six of Wands too. And it's clarifying the Six of Wands. So you've got double confirmation here, okay? These, I've got to say, are very stringent cards, so you may be up against something really strong here. Okay, but I think you're seeing someone or something or a situation for how it truly is that, you know, someone, an enemy in your camp may mean that, you know, someone is, it's just someone not on the same page as you. Okay, and it's clarifying the Six of Wands. Just make sure that whatever, that's what I'm saying, this week is going to be tumultuous. So now that you know this, plan well. Because the magician, play your cards right. I want to clarify this five of swords. Have an airtight plan here. Okay, trap. So this is a trap. So again, watch the Virgo reading. I think someone is trying to sell them a bad bill of goods over there, but the, the net net is that they come through this and they're already sitting on something that's tangible. Okay, so just keep in mind here that someone may not be above board. You've got the three of swords clarifying the five of swords, which is labeled in the clarifier as a trap. Okay. And you've got the Eight of Swords, which was in the Libra reading, clarifying the King of Swords. This may be related to something with health, but I'm telling you, you get you get your your message coming in here was yes. Um, oh, this is interesting. I need more cards. I'm sorry. Hang on. The Five of Swords is is feeling humiliated. It's 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 kind of feeling humiliated here by maybe this King of Swords here. But you rise, you rise at the end of this just like Libras did. And you've got the Ace of Cups as a clarifier. Okay? I needed to pull one card. You will get what's owed you here. Don't be sweet talked by someone or something. Okay, because that's an air through here that I feel you and Libra, you may be sweet talked by someone. Don't do that. Don't sell the ranch here because I feel these are tangibles, like there's money coming or something. Um, so be on the. Queen of Wands, this is a friend. And you've got the two of coins. Okay. Um, the two of coins is kind of like juggling something here. But again, your answer is yes. Okay. 
Okay. And the Two of Cups. So you've got the Two of Cups, the Two of Coins, and the Queen of Wands as more cards, okay? This could involve a relationship. You could be weighing out some options here. You may feel like you're stuck. But again, whatever it is that helps you here, show up with a, you know, you want a yes or no, your answer is yes. Okay, so there you go. I hope I helped you in some way. Again, I want to say here, I'm sorry yours is so long. There, in the main part of this reading, in the beginning, the main message in there was to trust your intuition. If you're thinking someone is shady, the answer is yes. Okay, so I hope that that helps you in some way.